everyone and welcome to another fantastic tutorial with myself Jerry McGuinness aka the Irish Photoshopper and in this lesson we're going to go through a tutorial of the image you see in front of you which I call artificial virus so without further ado let's get to it oh one other thing please like and subscribe to this video for more excellent content coming soon so the very first thing we're going to do is duplicate a background layer and rename the top layer to girl Zoom all the way in on the book on the page. You're going to select your pen tool, just a normal pen tool. Then slowly just start drawing out your selection there. And my hands are quite shaky, so it takes me quite a while to do this. So um, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit until I get the the angle and the selection that I want. So again, just around the hand, around all the corners, around all the corners. You can click and drag the shape the way you want. Okay. And then once you have a selection just like this, just turn on your opacity a little bit so you can see the edges. From here, just zoom out. Turn your opacity back up to 100%. And then what you're going to do is open up your image that you want to put in the in the book. Drag it and drop it in as the top layer, like so. Then hold um, Alt and create a clipping mask. Okay, from there, just go into your hand that you want to select. Click select subject and then just hit the mask button and mask out the hand. Then drop, drag and drop it onto the top layer. Okay, press Ctrl T to transform, right click and flip it horizontal. Hold shift when you're changing the dimensions and just get it to the right size that you want. So for now, this is just the way I'm going to do it here. And once you're happy with that, then Again, just line it up the way you want, at an angle that you want. Click the tick, let's zoom in a little bit. Press Ctrl T, and all I'm gonna do is just hold Shift and just try and change the dimensions and change the shape just for it to, to blend in and look at more of an angle that it's coming out. From here, select your brush, make sure it's a nice soft round brush. Click on the layer mask beside the image on the right hand side on layer two. Make sure your flow is at 70% and your opacity is 100 and just slowly just start blending the arm in a little bit okay just like this okay let's turn down the opacity to around say say 10 percent and again with your mouse or your graphics tablet let's turn up the flow to 100 percent and then just slightly just start blending some of that background in okay to make it look like that the the arm is more appearing or it's you know just disappearing into the image itself then we go in and select our image of the vaccine like like so I actually just went ahead here and just press select subject here in just a moment from there then I just select the mask button down along the bottom I select a nice soft round brush on the left hand side make sure I'm on the right hand side of the mask on the right hand side then I just just blend out some of the bottom okay make sure you're on black black is to reveal white is to conceal okay Drag and drop her in on the top layer. For now, press Ctrl T. And let's just shrink it down. Make sure you hold Shift. And just shape it the way that you want it. Okay, you might want to turn it the other way around. But it's just how I did it for now. So drag and drop that layer underneath the top layer. Like so. From here, just press Ctrl T. Just shape it the way you want. Again, you can do whatever way you want to. Make sure you're holding Shift when you're moving it. Click the top layer and then press control click on the layer below it to change the size of both the vaccine and the arm. Okay, shape it the way you want. Now just zoom in, nice black round brush. What we're gonna do is bring the flow down a little bit, down to around 39%. Select the mask on the right hand side of the image and just blend in the bottle a little bit. Okay. Make it look like it's appearing in between the fingers rather than in behind it, okay? Now again, you can use black or black is to reveal and white is to conceal. So if you see any mistakes, just go back over with a black or a white brush. Okay, so so far so good. I'm starting to like the look at that. I'm just gonna bring back in some of that layer, that one right there. Let me just get rid of that edge out of there. Select on the top layer. Make sure you're on the mask. And just with a nice white brush, just blend back in the, the bit, a bit of the glove a little bit. 
Again, if you're enjoying this, please like and subscribe to this video for more excellent content coming soon. Zoom out. Now what we're going to do is actually let's just zoom in a little bit. Press Control T just to, on the actual vaccine there and change the size of it. Again, it's all about finding the fit that best suits you that you want it to. I'm just going to zoom back in a little bit on the top layer on the mask. I'm just going to go back over the edges a little bit. Okay, so I'm starting to really like the look of this so far. Let me select my brush. Let me turn my opacity down to around 10%. Let me bring my flow back up to 100. Make sure I'm on the top layer on the mask. Let's change the color to black to reveal the pixels underneath. And again, just slightly, just that blending there, arm, just in a little bit. And fine tune it the way you want. So I press white just to bring back in the layer down with the delete. I got this nice little halo effect out of that, which, uh, which actually turned out it was a heavy accident, so I wanted to keep it in it. So I leave it in the, the final image. As you can see these circles, I actually quite like them. Let's zoom out. From here, come to our adjustment panels down the end. And let's put on a color lookup. And let's go to horror blue. I like that tone. Now again, feel free to select whatever tone you like. From there, I'm just going to just adjust the values on the color balance like you see in front of you there. I'm just I just think around with this a little bit just to get it to look the way I wanted it to look. I was starting to feel that horror blue kind of move to it so I've decided to keep that. And I'll just adjust the highlights a little bit. Just a small but not too much. And then we'll have a quick look at the shadows and just see. Hmm. I think it may be something in the room. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm liking that. Next, what we're going to do is just crop it down a little bit. Select the tick. From here, then, just go in and select this layer that we want to bring in now. Drag and drop it on the top. Change this the blend mode to screen. Press Ctrl T to transform. Hold Shift just to change the angle of the dimensions of the picture. Like so. Make it appear as though the armor is going to be coming through that that's some sort of portal coming through the book. Click the tick. Let's create a levels adjustment. We'll zoom in a little bit first. Again, we'll get rid of some of that halo around the, the bright pixels around the, the circle in the middle. Create a clipping mask and drag a light so until that disappears altogether. But so far, so now what we're going to do is just create a mask on the layer 4 with our brush, and change it to black and just, just blend out the bits that are covering the arm, okay? Now I was like, what am I have to do on here, but I forgot I have to turn my opacity back up to 100%. So. Let's just bring that down there to make it look like so it's not overlapping the arm and the arms appearing to come out from the middle of the circle, okay? And that's starting to look really, really cool. I'm going to create a new, a new layer. With my color pick, I just hold Alt and click on the picture on the, make sure I'm on a brush. Hold Alt, click on the, the color from the part of the image that I want. Then just two dabs with the mouse and change it to overlay. Again, select another color like the blue by holding Alt and clicking anywhere in the picture. Again, give it one dab, two dabs. I'm really starting to look at that. Let's create another new layer. From here, let's, let's just give it two blue dabs. Change the blend mode, the blend mode to screen. Let's turn down the opacity a little bit so it's not too strong. Let's zoom out. From here then, let's create one more adjustment there. Let's select the, another, say a pinky tone from it. Let's just brighten it up a little bit there, top right hand corner. 
same again just two quick dabs change it to screen actually no we will try a hue on this one i think hmm may have to go hue yeah let's change it to hue and let's go ahead and bring the opacity down a little bit like so so from here we're just going to create a, a curves adjustment there i'm just going to create a slight little s shape like you see here in the right hand side of your screen that's really looking cool so far press shift control alt and e to create a stamp layer with all the adjustments from below go to let's press command j to duplicate that layer go to filter stylize then oil paint you can mess about with the values here like i have just to get the look that you want i'm just going to speed it up a little bit hmm press ok let's just zoom in a little bit and have a quick look at the texture in, in the, the the image itself we just don't want the oil painting and um, stylization just to look too strong so i'm just going to take down the opacity i think 49 i'll do it you can call it an even 50 if you want left hand side select your smudge tool bring the opacity down on that well sorry the strength should i say bring the strength down on that to around 10 percent grab your smudge brush and then slowly just start painting out the rough lines that you've seen the image so like so just to get that really rough and um, lines from the oil painting out of it okay i turned the strength up to around 15 percent on this and i'm just going to speed this up a little bit because this can be quite time consuming and um, if you make a bigger brush it's going to take longer to render and you could be sitting there for a while waiting on the waiting on this to become smooth for you so you could be sitting there for a little while so i tend not to go anywhere over 10 to 15 percent on this i keep a small brush as i can i go around the whole image including the the model itself and i just blend out any of those harsh lines so i hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far and again please like subscribe and if you're feeling generous please share if you decide to do this please tag me in it you'll catch me on instagram at the irish photoshopper again as you can see i didn't want to speed this up too much i just wanted you to see what it looked like just smoothing out all those lines okay like so it's really starting to take effect now really starting to take so just on the model itself same just go around the edges around the skin just get rid of those harsh lines just a little bit on the mask i like the texture on the mask so i'm gonna leave some of that texture there let's do the hands and we'll do a small bit on the pillow as well so yeah really looking nice so far again if there is any harsh lines you can just brush them out let's zoom out select a, a crater over there Let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to just create a slight little highlight on the face of the model. Select your brush. What we do is just hold Alt to select any color from the image. Let's go with this. Nice soft round brush. Opacity 100, flow 100. And let's just paint the highlight just around the rim of the, of the highlight tracks you see there. So a little bit of light. Just let's paint some over there. Just a bit underneath the eye there and the cheek change the blend mode to overlay let's put a mask on that as well click on it select the mask select your brush make sure it's on black and just brush out that bit of highlight there then what we're going to do is we're just going to put a gaussian blur on this just now in just a moment so filter make sure you're on the right layer go to blur the Gaussian blur and just take up the Gaussian blur a little bit so you can zoom in or zoom out there you see how it's looking so let's say six let's turn down the opacity a little bit really liking how that's looking so far we're nearly done folks
So, from here now, what we're going to do is one last time, we're going to press Shift Control all the main create a new layer, a stamp layer. We're going to go in, we'll just zoom in a little bit. Let's grab our patch, to, patch tool. Let's just get rid of that little bit lower around the outside of it there. Okay, select content to wear. Not too worried about this. Sometimes you may get that from doing your oil paint and overlays or your oil paint effect. But again, it's not gonna, it, it doesn't really take, have a, you know, a bad effect on the final image. Then we're gonna come over on the left hand side, select our burn tool. Let's see the around 24% of the exposure and just darken the already dark parts of the image, okay? Just add more shadow, more depth to it. Just go around the shadows, any dark parts. So we can leave the highlights the way they are for now. I'm not gonna touch the highlights. I'm not gonna use any dodge to brighten the highlights. I'm just gonna go around the shadows with the boring brush. And we're just gonna darken the already dark pixels. Just add a little bit more drama, a little bit more darkness to it. Like so. So far, so good. So then the final thing we're gonna do Press Shift, Control, Alt, and E. Create one last stamp layer where all of our adjustments included. Let's call this Sharpen. Okay, by double clicking in it, renaming it. Go to Filter, go to Other, and go to High Pass. Leave it at around one. Select OK. Then finally, change the overlay. And now we have our final image. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, keep your eye on my channel for new excellent content coming soon. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you again soon. Again, if you do attempt to do this edit, please tag me on social media. On Instagram, I am the Irish Photoshopper. Um, on Facebook, my page is Jer McGuinness Photography. Um, or you can write in the comments on your YouTube and point me in the direction of your social media and I'll come follow you back. Have a good evening, folks.